I do scientific research in the field of material science, in particular to discover porous material for energy applications. We are now working in a diamond light source, the UK National Synchrotron Radiation Centre. Carbon capture and storage is to capture wasted carbon dioxide from a large point of source, for example, coal-fired industry or power plant. The reason we need to capture carbon dioxide is because it's a greenhouse gas and the very large amount of emission of carbon dioxide into the environment will change our global climate. There are different ways of doing carbon capture. So people develop materials or different capture systems to absorb CO2 from a mixture of gases. For example, when, when CO2 is mixed with nitrogen or methane or water vapor, so we need to develop specific materials that can selectively grab CO2 from this mixture and therefore to achieve the carbon capture. Diamond Light Source is the UK National Synchrotron Radiation Center. It produces very high energy X-ray by synchrotron radiation source. And we use this very high energy X-ray to study the structure of our materials. Specifically, we use this very high energy X-ray to look at atomic structures for our material. A synchrotron is made of a, a beam of very high energy X-ray that is being accelerated by this uh, diamond light source synchrotron radiation center. Because of this uh, very uh, high energy nature of the X-ray, we are able to study the crystal structures of our material down to the atomic and the molecular level and therefore we can learn a lot of details by using this very high energy X-ray about our material that can be used for carbon capture. So in order to achieve a carbon capture, we need to develop specific system or materials that has the property to do the carbon capture. So currently in the industry, people use an organic amine solution to do the carbon capture. It has a very high selectivity and a low cost, but the problem is that this amine solution is very toxic, and the aim of our research is to develop new and more renewable material. So what we are doing at the moment is to develop porous material. In this type of material, it has an intrinsic pores. And if you look at this model, this is a model of one of, one of these porous materials. And if you look down through this uh, model, you can see the pores that is going through this material. And when this uh, sample is activated, we can use it to store the carbon dioxide. And indeed, this material has very high selectivity for the carbon dioxide in comparison to uh, nitrogen or water vapor or oxygen. In order to study the atomic structure, we need some uh, very advanced uh, microscope. And the current optical microscope that we use in the lab is not able to do this job to look at the atomic structure. And that is precisely the reason we need to use the X-ray, which is a very powerful X-ray generated by the synchrotron radiation source to look at the atomic structure of our materials. So in general, this carbon capture and storage is a two-stage process. So one team is working on this carbon capture, and the other team is working on the storage of carbon dioxide. So our material can do the first one, which is to capture the carbon dioxide from the wasted gas, and our colleagues would do the underground storage of uh, carbon dioxide.